Hi everybody, we are going to test today racket number 686. It is the Yonix Voltric 21DG Slim. Now, uh, before we go on to talk about the test results, uh, the price of this racket is about £76 in the UK. Uh, that's slightly less than the Voltric 11DG Slim, which is about £86. Uh, the Voltric 8DG Slim is about £46. The 0.75 and point, sorry, the 0.7 and the 0.5. DGs are around the 40 to 50 pound mark too. So this is priced slightly higher, slightly under the 11 DG Slim, so obviously Yonix rate this as a slightly better racket. Interesting though that is, I'm going to skip from through the manufacturer specs for a second and just talk about the design. They are identical. This is the 11, this is the 21, and if I got the 8 DG Slim out there, they're identical apart from color changes, everything about them is pretty much the same. Um, I'll show you some uh, JPEGs in a moment on the design, you can take a quick look, but if you've seen the uh, 8 or the 11 DG Slim, they're pretty much identical to that. Racket specs, well, you pretty much know that too by now. So this is a 3U weight category racket. The E-Zone testing for this weighed it in at 91.6 grams. It's slightly lighter than all of the other DG Slim or not rackets we tested during this test session um, and the balance point on all of these is head heavy however we found this one to be very head heavy it came in at 326 which is significantly balanced towards the head now this the, the shaft stiffness of this racket is going towards mid uh, we tested it and we found it to be stiff so the Yonex rate it as mid the E-Zone testing rated it as a stiff shaft. Other information, G5 grips on all of the DGs that we've tested, maximum string tension on all of them, 35 pounds. And like with the rest of them, this is also made in Taiwan and made of high modulus graphite. SP codes on all of these DG rackets that we are testing. Availability of this racket, you can buy this from Bampton HQ in the UK and Europe. Uh, we will also be selling it at our racket sale site, but we don't have much stock of them. So you can buy it from uh, Bampton HQ. There's a link below to Bampton HQ, or you can go onto their website and at the checkout point, type in racket review, and you will get a discount on whatever you're purchasing. If you're in Asia, I would recommend buying them from Bampton Bay. Again, there's a link to Bampton Bay in the video below, or if you're in their checkout page, you can type in BRR5 and you will get a discount on purchasing so that makes it available pretty much everywhere no big deal um, what I'm going to do now is quickly show you a clip of this racket and how it looks it's pretty much the same as the old DG but here's a few pictures just to give you a quick idea of the design of the racket Okay, so now you know the price of this racket, you know the availability, you've seen the design of it, and you know the specs. How does it play? Well, you know, the Voltric DG range um, is a fairly hardcore range of rackets. Uh, I mean hardcore because they're quite stiff, they are quite heavy, and the balance is quite significantly towards the head. That's not the ideal scenario for a lot of people. Um, I would say that if you are a player with any kind of uh, irritation in your elbow, irritation in your shoulder, soreness, or when you're currently playing, I would not recommend the DG range for those sort of people um, because it is most likely going to make it a lot worse. The slim range of the DG, they are that little bit sharper in the air, they do feel a bit quicker in the air. Now when we compare this to the 8 DG 0 0.7, 0 0.5 and 11, I would say that this is the easiest one out of the lot to use. Its um, weight is not overly heavy, it's sort of medium weight. Um, 
to light uh, definitely feels a little bit it's it definitely the lightest out of the DGs we've tested during this test session, actually for any DG that I can recall. Um, the speed again, it's the, one of the quickest DGs that we've tried, it feels pretty fast in the air um, and it feels fairly, a little bit more lively than the other rackets and the stiffness of the shaft isn't too bad to be honest with you, it doesn't feel overly stiff, um, it feels more medium flex than it does stiff and that is possibly down to the weight or oh, the aerodynamics i'm not sure but it does feel less stiff than the other dgs slim or otherwise that we have tested so um overall performance for this racket well actually it's pretty good um i'd say that um it's but you can definitely use it for singles. Overhead shots are really nice, nice and clean. Backhand, backhand shots, nice and clean. Um, its control level is exceptionally good, really balanced, really stable. Nice tight drop shots over the net. And uh, for doubles players, smash power is good, uh, drive power is good, and surprisingly, defense is actually not too bad either. So, definitely, I'm going to say at the £75 mark, it's going to be a thumbs up. For this particular DG, I think it's the first time uh, that we've given a confident thumbs up on a DG. Um, we also gave the thumbs up to the 11 DG Slim at 85 pounds, but that is a little bit trickier to use than this, a bit harder core. It's going to strain your shoulder and your elbow more than this will. Um, but I know there's a lot of a lot of Voltric DG fans out there, and I would say go for the the 21 DG Slim if it's a DG you're after. It's not the most powerful of all the DGs, but it certainly is the easiest, it certainly is the quickest, and it's not that expensive at 85 pounds, it's a reasonable price. Um, we could compare this now to other rackets, the Black Panther, the King K9, all the other stuff that we talk about, but they feel so different. You, as a person, shouldn't be thinking about the Black Panther and the King K9 or the Honor S6 in the same way you're thinking about a DG racket. They feel totally different to use. So there's, they're not worth comparing. They're totally different animals. Um, the DG range is head heavy, it's stiffer, it's quite heavy. Uh, and that's the kind of player, they are aimed at the players who are looking for that. The Voltric 80 sort of people, um, you know, there's sort of Voltric 80, Astroxy, you know, they're, there's, they're better than, I think they're better than the Astrox 88s, this, this 21 DG, I think it's better than the Astrox 99. Um, Arc Sabres, well, they're old tech, to be honest, the Arc Sabres, they're, they're very, very popular, loads of people love them, love them, love them, love them, but I still think this is a little bit more up to date in terms of its airspeed, a little bit more up to date in terms of response rate. So yeah, I think it's it's a good recommendation uh, only if you are into Voltrix, if you're into the head heavy stuff. Uh, otherwise, steer well clear it is. And if you have any kind of injuries in your arm, definitely steer clear of any of the DGs because they are hardcore and they do require a fair amount of effort. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the 21 DG smash and maneuver shot now. Um, if you're familiar with the E-Zone <coughs> and you've seen all of that before, you heard it all before, then just wanna say thanks for the shares, for the likes, for the feedback, for the reviews, if you've left them. If you haven't, leave them. E-Zone users, leave the reviews. Very important uh, for that to happen. Um, we're gonna talk now about the E-Zone, so you can sign out if you know all about it. Uh, thank you again for your support. It's really, really appreciated. Um, now, the E-Zone by Badminton Racket Review. So if you go to the badmintonracketreview.co.uk website, we have a platform called the E-Zone where you can compare rackets from 19 world-class manufacturers and we test and we use the same, we test them all in the same way and we use the same terminology to describe all of the traits of the rackets, which makes them comparable like for like. You've never been able to do that before in badminton <clears throat> or in any other sport that I'm aware of, to be honest. Um, now the once you've deciphered some rackets, say for example you were looking at the DGs, you do, okay, I've come down to the 21 DG, the 8 DG Slim and the 11 DG Slim, you would then press on the Yonex logo on the left and then that would bring up the individual pages of these rackets and you can then see the various elements that make up the score and 
uh, and the video in the review page would give you the information I'm giving you now but in greater detail. Um, so you get a really good understanding of how the score is, what the score is, how this racket's going to feel and how it's going to The parameters of testing within Bampton Racket Review are quite simple. We restring all of our rackets with the Onyx BG65 at £25. We use the same shuttles, the AS30s, and we have the same player hitting, uh, taking all our tests. The two shots you're about to see now are the smash and maneuver uh, tests. We um, take six shots in each. If we're happy with how those six shots went, we take the two average highest uh, speed recordings and we average those out for a highest speed score and high speed uh, smash and high speed maneuvers. The maneuver is the head being measured in movement, the highest uh, maneuver speed and highest maneuver score. The videos are coming up now. Before they do, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in today and good to see you on the channel and hopefully see you on the next video. Here's the smash and the maneuver shot.